At six, University Health Truman Medical Center started the day with a big scare. This morning, a security guard was shot with his own gun in the emergency area. A KCPD confirmed a suspect is in custody. The security guard is expected to recover. And KSHB 41's Alyssa Jackson was at the scene this morning. She explains what unfolded. Inside of the University Health Truman Medical Center, patients and staff did not expect to start their morning off like this. All of a sudden, uh, all these cop cars just kind of started flying down the road and, uh, you know, word round, uh, there was an active shooter. The original call came in as an active shooter. In that moment, people didn't know how it quickly changed to an isolated incident. A security guard was disarmed and shot with his own gun. Laird knew the situation was being handled, but some people needed reassurance that their loved ones would come out unharmed. Her daughter messaged her at the time of the, the incident and said, I love you, we have an active shooter. And she worked directly here in the emergency room. There was a collective relief that this did not end how it could have. If his uh, uh, condition is, is, you know, stable, then thank God, really, thank God. The officer is expected to be OK and did not sustain any serious injuries, but the shooting did remind some people of why staying aware of your surroundings could save your life. That's the old military way, you know, he looked look left, right, look back behind. Michael Pacheco retired from the military in 1986 and showed up this morning for an appointment. While not much surprises him, he's still tired of all the gun violence. I think it's a little weird and crazy, but this is America nowadays, and this world's going to hell in a handbasket. In my neighborhood alone, there's gunshots every day. Take it from him. Some mornings don't go as planned, but sometimes you have to start the day prepared for the unexpected. Even driving, I'm checking cars to get too close. Walking out that door, I don't know what's going to happen. In Kansas City, Alyssa Jackson, KSHB 41 News.